In this video, we're going to talk about why is risky marriage and cohabitation. So if you're thinking in getting married, I'm going to tell you the risk that you're going to have and also all the prevention solutions or mit mitigations that you can have in order to avoid any further damage or future damage. So basically, you're going to have different type of women. So you have the single mothers that they are the plague, they are everywhere. Because remember the, the women, they, they can control sex, but we, the men, we, can, we control relationships. So if they are single mothers, if because they are having kids, you know, with all the men that they, they can find, um, they don't care because the government, they say, okay, don't worry. Uh, you're a single mother, we are going to give you a house so that way you can pay, you know, very little or nothing for free. Uh, we will give you coupons, we're going to give you uh, some cash or something like that, you know, so that way you can keep and uh, do whatever you want to do. And then you have the divorced uh, woman, also, this type of woman, they are like a play, they are everywhere. Um, and usually they are kind of damaged because they are they are going to reflect or deflect any responsibility they will say no it's not my fault my my ex-husband he was uh, very bad and and he she will say any anything but she never was the the problem she, so nobody will tell her okay but you choose bad i mean you had the kids with this guy and now you you're with this guy and now with the other guy and you keep you know choosing different the wrong men or something like that um, because they don't want them to tell them what to do you know it's no for better or for worse uh, so it doesn't it doesn't matter she will say oh i today i don't feel like being with you goodbye divorce no fault doesn't matter whatever so that is why in this i think it was in the 70s when uh, the the divorce rate was very low and after that the when the there was a law saying okay now no fault law so you can divorce your spouse because just because you want it no, you don't have to prove anything yeah and then after that it was like a million divorces every year so it was crazy and then we you are going to have the the woman with high mileage uh usually over 25 because you know the usually the the woman that are o over 25 the they, they are then might be you know eight or seven in looks or six or it depends and then after that they're going to get it's going to get worse 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 and in, in appearance wise also they are not going to be able to bear kids and um, and they are going to have you know problems like health issues and all the things and it's going to be worse so the peak of men is usually is 40 after 40 and uh, the peak for men in the sexual market value is 25 or lo lower so between usually uh, 20 25 is when woman a woman should be you know uh, try to get some some a uh, husband but usually the husband that, that she wants to get is at her same age um, you're going to have problem that the the woman usually they cannot find a, a man that is already built because a man is made the woman is, is born so she she has all the looks and everything and the, the man you know she uh, the man has to learn how to fight how to be aggressive how to do things in, in life you know to be able to make over six figures and if you know or if you search on google and, and you will see that like nine nine percent at least here in us only make six figures or more and the rest is less than that so usually people you know men with a lot of drive and tenacity they are going to be able to conquer the world and do something uh, that is going to provide enough value you know to provide for a family uh, for himself uh, for the the world and usually uh, men you know that are 20 20 uh, 30 they are you know playing video games and, and other things they are not ready to to get married so 
that is the, the, the problem. And you're going to find that usually the woman, they, they don't want to have a big gap between, <laughs> be, with the, with, between them in ages. So they, they want to be just, you know, with someone of the same age, but that is a mistake because the, the other guy is going to use her as a practice, you know, <laughs> okay, next one, next one, that's it. Usually, uh, if you are a woman, if you're watching me, if, if you are with a man, and if, if he wants to, be, uh, to marry you, he will tell you, you know, in, within six months or a year, if he says that you have some value, he will tell you, okay, yes, I want to be with you uh, forever, and that's it. Otherwise, you practice until the, the next one. If you provide uh, him, you know, with a bedroom fan, <laughs> that's it until you cut that but that will that will be worse uh, for you because now le let's talk about the uh, woman with health marriage that like i was talking before they they have more bodies than the cemetery and you know they they, they run through the Back basketball team, the football team, and you know, and then they cannot uh, pair bond with any any men. So that is why you have these type of issues in in marriages or all those type of things because you know they they cannot uh, pair bond with with the men. So you want a, a woman with the least amount of bodies in her body. <laughs> or a virgin. So virgin would be the uh, ideal. And then you have the the woman that is damaged. Uh, damaged women, uh, usually they are very easy to recognize because, you know, they have t uh, tattoos, they have a, a piercing maybe in the nose, a lot of in their e uh, ears, blue, uh, blue hair, uh, purple hair or whatever. Um, those are the women that is like snakes or like uh, spiders. When you see all the weird colors, you get away. So those are the the main thing that you're going to to find in oh, in in those type of women also women you know that they have a um, problem with the with his father or something like that so avoid those a uh, virgin so if you find someone who is virgin that just you know don't do anything uh, don't have a bedroom fan or anything like that if you if you're a responsible man you will say okay uh, you, you can hang out with her, maybe date, date her for a while, and if you want to marry, marry her, but without the state. So I'm going to explain you a little bit uh, about that, because if you marry with the state, the state, you know, usually it depends on the country that you are, the, the state can take all your assets, uh, your salary, your income, anything. So also you have to pay a lot of fees in lawyers, government, states, or providence, or whatever you are living. Um, if you if you don't have enough uh, fiat uh, cash that, uh, laying around, um, and you don't pay, uh, they can uh, throw you uh, in jail. Uh, and I saw a video before about the one guy, he he was talking with the church, say, hey, I, I lost my my job, I, I cannot pay. So, and the church, he said, well, I don't care. Check, uh, pay, and the guy said, "But if you if you put me in jail, how am I going to pay? It, it is not my problem. You have to figure it out." And that is the the reality. Judge, like I said before in my other video, they don't care. You are one one more guy. So next one, um, if you have a USB cable hanging between your legs, uh, they are going to you're the enemy basically. Uh, also, they are going to. It depends on the state. They are going to get their cut. You know, for the woman, thirty-three percent. You may lose your child, like eighty percent of the times. Uh, as laws, like I said before, uh, you, even for instance, in Argentina, is the worst pl a place to get married. But if you are in another place, just uh, let me know. But uh, for instance, if you are with a woman, you you cannot pay her for any uh, for any reason. The government will go to your parents and they will say, okay, now you have to pay her. <laughs> that is very very bad. And like I said. Um, you can uh, and you you will have to pay even if you if your kids are not yours um, you are with a single mother or something like that or she had an affair or, or something like that it doesn't matter you were there in the with the, this woman you are 
his, uh, her husband, that's it. <laughs> Latigo, check. <laughs> so it, it doesn't matter. So the solutions for these type of things is uh, no marry the, the state. You can say to the woman, okay, I'll marry you. You're my wife uh, from now on. That's it. You go to the bed and you consummate the, the marriage and that's it. Like in, in like you see in, in the Bible. So it's like saying, okay, this is, you see, this, this is my marker. I don't have any paperwork. I don't have to sign up any paperwork to, with the government saying that this is my marker. Someone comes and asks, this is my marker. That's it. Same thing with the woman. This is my woman. That's it. This is my my wife, and that's it. If you if you if you are a Christian, read the Bible because it says it gives a warning about cohabitation. You know, no fornicate, no fornication, no adultery. So if you are in, into that, great. Otherwise, uh, if you want to do that, make sure that uh, she have to sign a prenups or pre cohabitation or something like that. Some agreement. The same thing with the kids. If she says no, next, <laughs> and uh, find for another woman. Because if she says no, is is because she has a second plan. Is she she has a plan B, and uh, she will say okay. Uh, I, I want to you know be with this guy. And if things don't work out, surely, or maybe I want to be with child, Chad and Tyrone, they will, they, they will tell you, she will tell you, okay, I'm taking the kids, I'm taking everything, bye. So if she, this is a way just to make sure that she's with you and she's not going to be with anybody else because she's going to lose. Uh, also, uh, talk with the attorneys, one or two or three attorneys, just in case, uh, to avoid any uh, any problems. So, because sometimes the, the attorney may have a bad day, he miss out something, and then the, the the one that you're going to be on the hook is you, not him. So make sure that you know you have at least two attorneys watching the same paperwork, asking the same advice, and see what they say. Um, make make control that everything is you know being recorded and everything. Uh, get a good camera or something like that, a cameraman, so that way there is no arguments later in, in further on the road. So that way you don't have any problems. If she say because you know men is men of worth, woman there is no that saying that's an excess. So because she can change her mind, you know, because her feelings. She feels something now. He, she feels something else tomorrow. Um, the one that you, is going to be on the hook is you. Um, marriage uh, outside of your country, that will be another option. Don't bring her to the country. Just make sure that you stay there. Um, you know, just read the, the, their laws, talk with the lawyer or anything like that. And um, if thing goes south, you know, you, you know that you can go back to your your a country and you, that you're not going to have any problem that you're not going to have you know the law is not going to enforce something on you and and it's going to cost you for 20 years until the kid is uh, is is grown uh, maybe if you have any money you will keep and it's over 10 years you will have to keep paying her you know for life so that is not fair so um, make sure that you do your do diligences and make sure that everything is good. So hopefully this video was useful. If you want me to take uh, to talk about any other subject, please let me know in the section below and see you in the next class.